It's day three of the ASEAN Regional Forum that's taking place in Laos. So far, South Korea's Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-hae has worked the diplomatic levers to keep relations with China steady while reaffirming ties with the U.S. And today, we're likely to get a clearer picture of the current political landscape in the region, especially in Northeast Asia, at the ASEAN Foreign Minister's meeting. Our Kwon Zua is there. While South Korea's Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se and his North Korean counterpart had a short encounter during which they reportedly said they were glad to see each other, it was a different story for North Korea and China. Pyongyang and Beijing's foreign ministers held their first bilateral talks in two years on the sidelines of the ASEAN Regional Forum, the only security forum that the North Korean delegation regularly attends. The beginning of their meeting was open to the media in what's being seen as a rare gesture. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi congratulated his North Korean counterpart Lee Yong-ho for taking the foreign minister post. According to a North Korea official, the meeting took place as part of normalizing communication between the longtime allies. Pundits say South Korea-China relations could go downhill while North Korea-China relations move up. China has been adamantly opposed to the deployment of the missile defense system THAAD to South Korea, a stance shared by North Korea and Russia as well. Meanwhile, Minister Yoon reaffirmed his ties with the U.S., especially when it comes to North Korea issues. So I believe this is the right time uh, for us to send out a very clear and strong message to North Korea that our alliance is uh, stronger, deeper, and broader than ever. I'm very grateful uh, to our friends in, in, in Korea for their very significant contribution to so many different global issues. At this Seoul's chief diplomat Yoon and his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida agreed that South Korea-Japan relations have improved in recent days since the landmark deal on Japan's wartime sexual slavery issue last December. With these developments, there are concerns that a South Korea, U.S., Japan versus North Korea, China, Russia diplomatic structure is forming. Kwon Soa, Arirang News, Vientiane.